and Ray just shouted name tag. There we go, third name tag guys. Maybe these soldiers shared a barrack together, who knows. Welcome to another metal detecting Walter to Battlegrounds adventure. This time we are on the Western Front. We're going to visit some German army base camps. We're expecting a lot of uh, debris, porcelain, name tags, maybe some medals, other personal stuff. Usually there's dump sites around at these bases, so that will make an interesting afternoon if we discover those. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's set up our gear as soon as possible and I'll see you at the first find. Yeah, so far we've dug up some shell casings, but this is a very interesting thing that I wanted to show you as a first find. Quite unexpected as well. I mean, <laughs> look at this. Oh, that's heavy. It's a freaking cannonball, guys. I mean, I'm hunting here for World War II relics. This is definitely not what I was expecting, but there you have it. History is all mixed up in this forest. Man, I'm not sure. I think this is a 12 pounder, maybe heavier. Oh, well, that's a cool find. Let's carry on. I think we've been at it for maybe 20 minutes and we're starting to find traces of the uh, camp that was here um, and these are typical camp finds we're finding bits of porcelain and it has the right thickness we're just hoping to find some stamps we found a lot of tubes this is all toothpaste and this is Blendox it's quite a familiar World War II German toothpaste uh, brand um, this is skin cream and I just found uh, a German condom tin there we go, it says Gummi Shoots. And uh, yeah, these were very iconic little condom tins. Yeah, as you can see, they're clearly marked. There's a lot of camp trash here. Let's, uh, let's do some more digging and uh, see what we can come up with. Well, I was called over by Jeff and Ray because they might have just found the camp dump site. They've encountered a lot of porcelain pieces glassware and I think there are some here and there we go Reichsarbeit since 1939 and uh, there's a lot of signals here a lot of glass they definitely dumped a lot of stuff here well apparently it's not just Reichsarbeit since porcelain that's buried over here because I think Ray said something about Wehrmacht porcelain oh, that's almost that's it's a half of a plate okay so how is this different oh that is a different one indeed this, uh, this, uh, it says Reichsarbeitsdienst yeah. as well. So actually guys, we're looking at Wehrmacht porcelain that has been reused by the Reichsarbeitsdienst. So they re-stamped it basically. And these pieces are actually quite rare to find because this is not how they made it in the factory. They re-stamped it. That's some history right there. Yeah, so as you can see, we're all digging beside each other here because it's just porcelain bit after porcelain bit. I mean, Wehrmacht porcelain that was reused by the Reichsarbeitsdienst. I think this is the fifth piece or something. <laughs> wow. Where are the other ones? There's more. Nice. So Jeffrey just handed me this. Guess I know who's taking shots tonight. It's complete, guys. A shot glass, two centiliters. There's a flower on it. Well, Jeffrey is definitely on a hot spree today. It's him again. And we actually found the first RAD spoon of the day. There's an R, we're not sure what's behind all of that rust. It's not perfect, but you can still read it a little bit. It says RAD. Nice Arbeitsdienst, nicely marked spoon. Finally, I found something interesting. I was digging on this edge here, and this little uh, bakelite box just popped out. Look at all of those markings. Aha, Bergman, Nachfuhlstück. Um, I think this is some sort of medicine box. I think it says Rosodont. And the interesting thing is, something in it, guys. <laughs> let's, let's open this baby up, see what's inside. Let's see, it's a little bit difficult to open it up. I think we should be able to do it. 
Oh, <laughs> what is that, man? Is it like shaving cream all hardened up? It turns out this once was toothpaste. Well, it's a nice little box. Jeff definitely has a thing with cutlery today. It's a clear one, so it's probably gonna year on there as well. Yeah, 38. 1938. HM. There we go. RAD, Reichsarbeitsdienst. 38, 1938. I don't know how you do it, man. Still gonna find my first piece, but I'm not complaining. Maybe a little bit. Just a small update. As you can see, we've excavated quite a bit of soil here. And while well, there is just porcelain everywhere, all marked with Reichsarbeitsdienst. Nice cups, plates, dishes. We've actually collected some more nice pieces over here. And there we go. <laughs> yeah, I really especially like the ones from the Wehrmacht that have been reused by the Reichsarbeitsdienst. But uh, yeah, that's a lot of pieces. Nice collection, cannot complain. So I might have just found something interesting here. I got a very loud signal against this tree bark over here. And look what I just pulled out. First thing I thought was, is this maybe like a horn from a music instrument? And I talked to my buddy Jeff and he actually pointed out this mark over here and it says Martin Signal. So I'm gonna Google search that. Maybe this is actually from a music instrument played by one of the German soldiers over here. Martin Signal points out we found a music instrument piece indeed. Probably the instrument was used in one of the many military parades on this base. I was just finishing up the filming of that music instrument part and then I had to rush over because Ray said that he almost found a complete porcelain plate. At a very great depth, so we might be onto some camp dump here again. Hey, look at this. <laughs> wow, that's almost complete. And it's stamped. Oh, that's really nice, man. 1938 Reichsarbeitsdienst. Wow. Yeah, that's quite a deep hole. Is there more in there? Yeah, there's more in there. That is some depth you got going on there. We're all helping out with this dump for Ray. There's definitely more in there. We even brought out the sifter to make sure we don't miss out on anything. And Ray just shouted, name tag. There we go, it's the first one of today. Oh, these are always so cool to find. They are so personal, what does it say? Fritz Fülle, but it's a nice one. So these are always storage locker tags. These were placed on the uh, lockers in the barracks. And yeah, I think eventually when the soldier moved away, they removed these and they just put these in the camp dump. But uh, yeah, even on the German dark text, there was almost never a full name on there. So this, this is really personal, guys. I really wonder if he made it through the war and what his story was. Second name tag of the day is found by Josh. He just had that thing in his hands and everybody started shouting name tag. So and what does it say? Fent, Carl. Carl Fent. I like Fritz Fühler better. <laughs> <laughs> it's more typical German, but it's still, still really personal and it's a really nice find. Well, the party is really getting started now. I was just about to film these na two name tags together, but Josh pulled out the third one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this dump is great. Wow. I really wonder. This is, looks like a single name, I believe. It's a bit burned, it seems. Yeah, I think so. Oh no, it's not one Seip. name. Franz Seip. Franz Seip. Wow, so, so, so that's the third one. Yeah, there we go. Third name tag, guys. That is really personal. Maybe these soldiers shared a barrack together, who knows? Oh, okay, so there's finds now everywhere. Jeffrey just pulled out a toothbrush in some sort of tube. Yeah, and it's really, the water can leak out there. So. Oh, that's, that, that's really inventive. Yeah. That's the money shot right there. <laughs> I think we just found uh, the missing piece of an ashtray. Uh, now let's just see where that, that piece is. Yes, is it that one? Huh? No, it's well, not. Almost. Well, that's, that's mind blown. Maybe we'll still find it. Yeah, these are lovely. So we're still making progress on this uh, major dump hole. 
and I was actually complaining a little bit because I was standing at the sifter, not much was happening. These guys assured me that definitely all of those name tags, they would catch them with their eyes and those would definitely not land in my sifter. But there is something else that just landed in my sifter which makes me really happy. Look at what we found here. We got the first WHW badge of the day guys. And it's a little sports figure and looking at the outfit, I think this is actually an R.A.D. guy. I think he has a baseball bat in his hands. I've never, never seen this WHW badge before. That is an awesome one. Let's look at the backside. Wow, that's a new one for me. So these WHW badges, the Hitler Youth went door to door to sell these and to collect money for people who needed some funding in cold periods of time to get them warm clothing and stuff. It's a charity token, basically. There are over 8,000 of these. And uh, every time again, I'm surprised because there's almost every time a series that I've missed, that I've not seen before. And this is one of those really neat. Rob just called me over the walkie, told me he found a complete blade. <laughs> but it's only two pieces, but that, that's, a, that's a matching puzzle. That's nice. Just a little bit of glue and it's good as new. Yeah, so everybody came over to have a look. They were excavating over there, but now they're standing over here because I started a new excavation site over here. And immediately there's glass everywhere, bottles sticking out. But my eye caught this part over here. And well, we know what it's gonna be right now, right? <laughs> we've seen this before this video. I think we've already found four name tags. This is going to be the fifth one. Oh, there that. we go. Yeah. Oh, there's a name on there. Yeah, we should get a fine brush for this. But that's another name tag, wow, that's awesome. All right, let's give this beauty a brush. Gently there, we don't want to ruin the name. Yeah, I think that, that does it. Schneuderwind, <laughs> just one last name. We'll put it with the rest. This is not the same shot, guys. This is just one minute after. I just found this name tag. The next shovel that I put in the ground, <laughs> There's another one. I wonder what name is on this one. Let's see what it says. This side is blank. Oh, no, no, no. There's a name there. There is a name there. Möller? Something like that. That's interesting. Well, there's probably gonna be more. <laughs> it's two already in one minute. So, you Rob couldn't stay behind. He had to find a name tag of his own. And there is a nice long name on there. Hirsch. Hirsch? Doom? Hars Doom, that's a weird name as well. <laughs> Six storage locker tag. For years I've talked about finding enameled plates, street signs, uh, commercial signs, whatever. I've seen them being found in World War II dumps and I finally found one myself. And I know it's a small one, but it's still cool. It says Vorsicht ST, I'm not sure what the words were there, but Vorsicht means caution. And so maybe this was placed on either one of the barracks or maybe around the shooting range that was here too. I mean, I really love these signs, so I'm a happy man right now. The name tags, they can keep coming. We don't, we're not getting tired of fighting these. And Ray just pulled out another one. Let's see what the name is here. Friedrich Haus. Nice German name. <laughs> yeah, that's again a nice German name, a typical German. Great. Let's add it to the collection. This dump pit dried up, so as you can see, I've already backfilled it. Almost done with that. Um, last finds that came out. Well, at least I found some more interesting pieces of porcelain. Rice Arbeitsdienst, Clear Eagle, and finally I found myself an RAD knife. It's in two bits, but interestingly enough, these two bits fit together. So maybe I could glue them, I don't know. And. There it says R-A-D. So I was actually on my lunch break and Josh decided to interrupt me. So I put on my sandwich and my drink and I'm now down here with him in this dump hole because he thinks he found a complete plate or almost complete. Um, do we have a stamp already? Yeah, we do. Oh, nice. There we go. Reichs Arbeitsdienst 1937. I don't think it's there yet. 
Mm. There it is. Mate, isn't that the isn't that the missing piece? It might. It is. Oh, it is. Oh, <laughs> <nice>. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations, man. That's Thank you. a great find. Another complete plate. Wow. That's amazing, man. The missing piece is there. Just some glue and uh, maybe a dishwasher and you should be good to go. Josh came running over from the dump pit where he just found that complete plate because I, I had a very high pitch signal, very small target. And <laughs> this is gonna be something cool, guys. Look at what we're seeing here. It's a ring. Wow. <laughs> Is, it, is that silver? It's really neat. <laughs> Already happy with that one. We should give that a brush. Let's see if there's any markings. It's not a standard canteen ring, I believe. But this could still be a personal item from a soldier. A ring that he brought from home. Maybe he got it from his girlfriend. A serial number. Reminds him of the missus. You see a serial number? Yeah. It could be sterling silver number, the, the purity. Yep, there is a number in there. Nine, two, three or something. That's the purity of the silver, I believe. It's a really cool ring, guys. Happy with that one. Don't find that often. Cool. It's time to see if I can fit all of this stuff back in my bag, because unfortunately it's time to go home. Really love those personal name tags. So hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to check out my Patreon if you haven't already for an exclusive look behind the scenes. I'll be back with more videos soon. So stay tuned. Take care, guys. See you.